So the first thing I would like you to do for homework is to prep your card bases and your card panels. So we're going to do an A2 sized and a mini slimline card in class. And so um, for your A2 sized card, I would like you to prep a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. I prefer top folding. It really, this can be whatever your preference is. Um, so I just did my top folding because that's my preference. This is pink sand cardstock from Spellbinders, but any light pink cardstock will do. And then I would also like you to prep just two standard A2 sized panels from white cardstock. And for reference, that is four and a quarter by five and a half inch in size. So for your mini slimline, I'll want you to prep a three and a quarter by six and a quarter inch card base. And then two panels of three by six um, white cardstock. And the mini slim it will all start out in white cardstock. And then I would also like you to prep a foiling panel. My foiling panels are five and a half by six and a half inches. So those are all of the cardstock panel prep I would like you to do for homework. Next for homework is I would like you to cut and prep your sentiment. Um, if you're going to use the same die set as me, I'm using birthday celebrations too from scrapbook.com and you will need to cut each one out. And the way that I'm going to do mine is I'm going to cut the inner die or the word die from the holographic paper. So I will be picking just the standard um, uh, like iridescent silver. Um, but you are free to pick whichever one you want, but keep in mind we will be um, we will be foiling in an iridescent silver as well for class. So cut the inner sentiment from the holographic paper, the shadow layer or the outer piece from vellum, uh, any vellum you want, just make sure it's just standard vellum, not colored. And then I will also stack. So you'll notice when you see my sentiments in class that they will be stacked. So I will also cut the inner or the actual word dies just from some scrap white cardstock that I have lying around. I'll probably cut each word two more times and then I'll have you, I'll ask you to have them already stacked and glued together for class as well. And then finally, for the last piece of homework, uh, what I would like you to do is um, cut the sherbet, the sherbet smooth cardstock, all of the colors except for the two grains. So pink through the yellow and then the two aquas. Um, cut them down into strips. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can use the slimline dies from scrapbook.com. Um, I'm using the larger die and the smaller. So these are a half inch and an eighth inch. Or you can also just trim them down with a paper trimmer. So once again, as I mentioned, um, I'm doing each color in a half inch, which is this larger, um, the larger format and then the one eighth inch, which is the thinner. So your choice, you can use a die or a paper trimmer and just cut those from the Sherbet Smooth cardstock. And that is all of your homework for my class.